Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe here today, and I'm going to be showing you how to change the name on your Moto E or Moto G device. Couldn't figure out how to do this, and we have a way to do it. You just need to have root access. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to it with VM Lite VNC server to demonstrate what I'm talking about here. Here it is. As you can see, the name is Moto G3. All of them say this, all four of my Moto Gs. So let's go ahead and go through how to do this. Like I said, root access, download ES File Explorer. I'll leave a link in the description. And then what you have to do right when you get inside, Otherwise, you'll get an error and it'll say you cannot write the file we need to write in order to do this. Click Root Explorer. And it may, yes, super user asked for permissions. Just go ahead and grant super user permissions. Then what you have to do is mount read write. Make sure everything is RW, every single bullet point. So then once that's configured, go to your menu. Go to local. This home right here, the one below, the one with the icon, this is the newest version of ES File Explorer. Then it'll probably take you to the SD card folder. Click up here where there's the slash. That is the root folder. So once you're in the root folder, go down until you see system and find build.prop. We've been in here before for other things. And just click ES Note Editor to edit this. And right here where it says Moto G3, you can see that if I point it out to you in the file, just go ahead to the top and edit this file and change the name to whatever you want your Moto G or Moto E. Moto E is going to say Moto E2 or Moto E1, depending on which version you have. And same with Moto G, depending on which version you have. This is a version 3 Moto G or generation 3. So I'm going to change this to what I'm creating my new naming system to be for all my money making devices. This is phone number 4. So once you've changed the name to whatever you want it to be, Exit, make sure you save build up prop, and then go ahead and reboot your device. So we'll wait until this reboots, and then I'm actually going to show you how this changes at the top here. So the Moto G is rebooted along with VM Lite VNC server. We're going to go ahead and reconnect here. And as you can see, I have to change that default configuration. It says 4 at the top instead of Moto G V3. So that's how you change the name of the Moto E and Moto G, guys. So I, I searched for some background information on this, and there is no way to do it in settings. I even called Motorola support to ask, and he said there is no way for you to do this. You cannot change the names of your Moto G devices or your Moto E devices. And I'm like, there's no way. I have root access. There has to be a way. So we went back to the build prop file like I did before for one of the other things I was trying to do with my Motorola devices. I was trying to keep the Android apps to stay open for an infinite amount of time. And the build prop was the answer to that as well. And that would be how you change the name. And I needed to do this to restructure my VNC schedule, which is uh, what, what I need to do right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll be back with more videos next week. Sorry, I've been working on the forum and the archive section. If you guys haven't checked those out, I definitely recommend. I'll be, I'll be uh, getting some new features in there real, really quite soon. Archive section, you can check out all the money-making apps I've ever talked about. I'm just going to start adding them, even if I haven't reviewed them yet or done anything with them on this YouTube channel. So you're just going to see a bunch of apps go inside of it here pretty soon. As for the forum, I'm redoing the look a little bit, so it's going to be kind of like a construction zone. Some things might be a little bit messed up, but hey, construction never stopped business, so I'm going to keep it up, and hopefully nothing too bad happens. If it uh, doesn't work one hour and it still doesn't work the next, then you can contact me because I'm probably not getting it. So anyway, stay tuned for those things, guys, and I'll be back with more videos next week. In the meantime, have fun making money. Routine video. It happens after every routine video because people see how many devices I have and how much money I'm making, and then they formulate this ridiculous number that I'm paying like hundreds of dollars a month for electricity and I'm paying hundreds of dollars a month for the phone bill. 